Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you're not a part of the next level, it just got riled up. I just started my next tier level for my Chatterbox membership. And um, today I actually uploaded a painting video. So I am gonna be doing some vlogging, behind the scenes, what I do from day to day, just a whole bunch of everything in that, uh, on that level. Also, if you're not wanting to do the next level, there's still the Chatterbox, uh, the first level. Um, so, it's lots of new things starting, but today I wanted to share with you guys my um, two boys. Vegas and <laughs> Brayden and Brayden decided to share his thumb I guess um to to keep <laughs> to keep Vegas quiet so um for those that may be new to my channel and don't are not familiar with these scopes um Vegas which is my full body silicone baby is uh the willow asleep by Claire Tellum um, painted by me and one day will eventually be rooted by me and then Bubbles Awake is a cuddle baby with hands and feet and he is also a Claire Teller sculpt but painted by me as well and one day as well will be rooted by me but I thought it would be nice to, sh to bring both of them on to kind of give you guys more of an idea of just the difference in skin tones and stuff like that. I, I always find it fun. I was actually going to just do a video of Vegas and then I said, oh, let me see what they look like together. So then I put uh, Brayden over here and Vegas got a little upset, started fussing because he don't like to share his space. And then, um, I guess Brayden said, you know what, here, here, brother, have a thumb. <laughs> and so, and so that, that's, that's where they are. So, um, yeah, so that's, the, you know, that's the fun part about the babies. We can make up any stories we want um, about these babies and have fun with it. I never really... I never can really fully decide like wh what baby I like most as far as like the full bodies or partials or do I prefer the um, cuddles over <laughs> like every baby is like my favorite in the moment. Do you want your finger too? Yeah. So every baby is like a favorite in the moment. Nope. Um, and I can't see what you guys see. <laughs> so it's just, it's just fun to have a different mix of, of them. Uh, some of you guys may not know, but I went back in and gave, uh, Vegas more color and did some more things to him, which, um, I feel like really made a big difference and it actually made me really, um, bond with him more because I really had lost the bond with him and so now that he's all at it just and it was just like minor things and it made a big difference and so now I like really love him I want to change him out of this outfit but he's just so cute in the neutrals I love him in like the little beige colors and stuff like that and um, the fun part about the full bodies is that you can keep their little tummies out and I just, I don't know. So I love all of them. Um, the features that my Willow has is that he is, he is a drinking wet and he does have elbow armatures. So he, um, say I'm fully loaded, baby. <laughs> um, I was talking about you know features and stuff the other day and I was saying how 
you know, everybody wants a particular thing in their babies. Like, you know, for the longest time, a lot of collectors was frowning on drinking wet and they were like, it's childish and I might as well get a baby alive and all that great jazz. And then they were like, oh, they're going to start, they're going to mold, they're going to mildew. Um, and uh, what is her name? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just forgot her name. It just failed me. Melissa McCory, is that it? Melissa McCory, something like, I think this. What is, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot her name. But anyway, she's one of the very first people to actually, um, in this community that we, that I know of, um, that actually poured a full body silicone baby in platinum silicone. Rita Rich Arnold poured the first 10 silicone baby, which 10, if your silicone is poured in 10, eventually it's gonna deteriorate and fall apart on you. You don't even have to touch it or anything. So I think sometimes the misconception of, oh, silicone is so fragile and all that, there's a lot of play in that and there's a lot of what it's made of makes a difference in the durability and how long it's gonna last and all that stuff. I'm not a scientist, I'm not into it. I don't think there's been, a, you know, anyone in the community that's had a baby 30, 40 years, but here's the deal. Um, at the age I am now, um, if the baby fall apart in 30, 40 years, I probably won't even be able to pick it up or see it by then depending on how well I age. So it ain't gonna matter <laughs> to me. So give me a good 20 years and I'm good, you know. But anyway, I do know people that have silicone babies that they've had for many, many years and it's still in great condition. Color did not change. Hair did not fall out. All these different things that you hear about silicone just didn't happen. Um, you know, there's a lot of play, you know, um, back in the day, people really didn't really paint silicone. They blushed them. They wasn't even matting them originally. Then they started matting. So now a lot of different things have changed with silicone, which can either affect it in a good way or a bad way. Um, I was speaking with Melissa McCrory and she was saying about um, the drinking wet. She's had a drinking wet doll for over... I forget, I think she said 20 something years or whatever. Still never mildew, never mold. I think when you start putting other substance in the baby bottle, then that's different. You know, a lot of people like to put the formula or fake formula just for the looks for role play. And it, while it's very entertaining and looks more real to have formula in there, um, it is probably the most harmful to your, your dolls. Um, so I would probably just stay away from that, but otherwise I think they hold up just as good as a, um, vinyl baby. A lot of people like to, you know, you gotta be careful who the source is when you listen into things. Cause sometimes like, especially if it's a reborn artist and they primarily paint reborn, I find that they are the ones that give the most cons and downsides to silicone until they start painting silicone. Then when they start painting silicone, magically silicone is durable, it holds up, it's great, it's worth the money because they gotta, you know, market what fits their pocket. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think it's pros and cons to all of it. I think that some people, um, I think some people really, really I don't know if they do it intentionally or they just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But it is, you know, beneficial for you to just go with your own gut, trust your own instinct. You don't have to use your own money. So therefore, you know, make the final decision on your own. I don't try to convince anybody of either medium because I love them both. Um, and I do love different features in my babies. You know, people talk about armatures poking through the arms and all this and stuff and the hands and stuff where I know that is very much possible depending on how they're installed and what people are using. And, you know, some people, you know, do armatures 
in the molding. Some people, you know, case it, you know, put silicone around it as a protector so it doesn't, you know, poke out. Some people use a softer armature. Some people use a harder armature. Some people use a wider armature, thicker armature, thinner armature. There's so many different, you know, things that you have that if you dr you'll drive yourself nuts trying to figure it all out. I don't mold, I don't pour. I've watched a couple videos of people doing this stuff, so that's the only time I can actually speak on what I saw and so um or seen. So therefore um that's all I can I can say. But you know, with the dolls we want the most realistic babies and I love a baby that pose well. So I love armatures and arms. I the elbow armatures are like my favorite, um, but I actually been enjoying having a full armature where you can you know actually move the whole arm and bend it different ways that you want. Um, but with uh, with my Willow, he has elbow armatures. My Gigi has full armatures, and I really like her full armature. So you know I like I just like armatures and arms because. It just allows me ability for them to hold a pose better and stuff like that. Um, drinking wet. I was excited about it when, you know, it first came out because then, you know, YouTube wasn't as picky about, you know, how we, you know, the things that we share on our videos. And so it was fun because, you know, you can make the little boys pee and you know squirt across the screen and stuff like that and um you know all types of things where you know or show the changing videos which was definitely realistic to have the baby actually you know wet in his diaper and stuff like that or um just like being anatomically correct you know it's very realistic when you change the diaper that they actually look like a real baby you know all the way down versus nothing there blah 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 with the vinyl so though you know that was the whole thing um so i love super soft silicone i you know people can say that it's easier to rip easier to tear i think it's the opposite i think the firmer the silicone is the more likely it's going to rip or tear because you're trying to put it in positions or when you pick it up because you got it doesn't have the flexibility it's not going to move as fluid so oops there's a little rip or a tear. Um, so I feel like the firmer silicone is more likely to tear than the soft silicone. Soft silicone bends very easily and very flexible, easy to pose. So when people are interacting with their babies, dressing their babies, they're not really as afraid. Also, you you know, it's good when you find the pressure points of the dolls. Like if you know the arms are not very nice arm, uh, armpits and stuff like that then you got to be careful how you handle pick up the baby under the arms and stuff like that um so for me soft silicone is number one on my list uh if possible i love a squishy tummy um but it doesn't have to be as long as the silicone is soft enough it'll still be cuddly so squishy tummy is not a um, deal breaker armatures are my favorite in the arms, um, like Nori has them in arms and legs, but you know, I wanted her to be super, super poseable because she's so tiny. I can't do a lot of holding with her. So, you know, as much as I would with a bigger baby, as far as the cuddle factor go. So I would just rather her be very poseable and, you know, photogenic. And then, um, my next feature would be the, um, the drinking wet now I've had babies with spines and skulls and stuff like that and those are really really nice too um, I've never been that big on the skull it never mattered to me one way or the other with that I do like the spine however um, so there's different you know different things that I've loved in babies but for me for my full bodies is more the flow of the baby I like my babies to be in a position you know, sculpted in a position where I can pose them in more than just one laying down flat position or, you know, you turn it to the side and it look like you're turning a cardboard over and it's just square. So I, you know, I, those are things that I kind of look at when I'm looking for full bodies. My cuddle babies, I can switch their bodies out to whatever, you know, a different type of body. So 
it's not much to them other than that I have to like the face, of course, because the face is the main thing when you're dealing with a cuddle body. Because the baby don't have nothing but a face and the rest is cloth. Um, I like for it to be, you know, cuddly, of course. And you would think that's common sense, but I've had cuddle bodies that was stiff as a teddy bear. Stiffer than a teddy bear, actually. Um, now that they do the little hands and the feet, I think those are really cute. It's not a deal breaker if they don't have it, but it is kind of nice to have it. Um, you know, I won't lie because it, you know, and they're easier to paint because a lot of them have them where they can, you know, like he was where he could stand up. I ended up, they had, he had these little things on him like this. Um, that he was on the bottom of his feet to stand up. I, don't ask me why I haven't thrown this away yet, but um, I cut it off. And so I cut it off and um, in the end so that you can, you know, weight them or whatever. So it's, you know, preference is the biggest thing. Like no one can tell you what's going to be the best baby for you, what baby you like the most, et cetera, et cetera. Um, crazily, I found out something different about myself. I found out that I actually really, really love babies with closed mouths more. Um, but, um, if the mouth is open, you know, it just depends on the expression on the face. So I think these two are really cute with their mouth open but i do love the closed mouth more i don't know that he would i guess he would be cute with his mouth closed too but i find that i'll you know if i take them out i put pacifiers in their mouth if i if i take them out publicly i'll put a pacifier in their mouth because you know if their mouth is open people start looking for them to start moving or drooling or something so it's more passable to put a pacifier in their mouth but if their mouth is closed naturally i could take them out without you know having to put a pacifier in i love the ability to be able to put a pacifier in it's a must for me with silicone but i don't use them as much um i just like to have the option when i get ready or you know and i like to use the pacifiers for props and stuff like that but I do want them to be able to have a mouth and these babies mouth are fully open. Um, he has a uvula and he has a tongue sculpted down, you know, downward in his mouth. And this one mouth isn't as detailed, but he does have a little bit of a tongue. And um, so, yeah, but his mouth is more detailed inside, but I don't really get over it's ecstatic about the inside of the mouth. I do like painting inside of the mouth, but I don't get all this. It's not that big of a deal because it's not like the baby's gonna, you know, everybody's gonna be just trying to zoom into <laughs> their mouth. But, um, but yeah. So, like I said, I just wanted to come on, show you guys these babies together, show the difference in their little skin tone. Let me turn. Um, Brayden around. I know this is a super long video. I have a video that I want to share with you guys of um, Greta before he gets rooted but I haven't shared it yet but I will share it soon so so you guys can see him on video. But I've been playing with all types of other stuff, working on a lot of different other projects. So it's been pretty, pretty all over the place for me. But yeah, so, and oh, the feet. So, uh, I can't see what you guys see. Can you see what I see? All right, let's. So this is the feet, and I don't know if you can tell. Their feet are painted 
different. They're sculpted different. It's a total different paint style. This foot is kind of curled up. Oh, wait. You guys can't see. Hold on. That's the foot, and that's his foot. Um, he's an older baby, so I feel like I feel like everything kind of changes different phases of the baby. So I try to paint them according to what I feel like the age would be. Um, to me, Willow is more of like a six to eight week old baby versus I almost called him Bryson um Brayden is still pretty newborn but maybe about four weeks so maybe like a month apart or something like that he's not fresh fresh newborn but he's still I think would be fairly newborn and it's definitely going to depend on how I do his hair too Rather, it's going to make him more baby or look more older. But they're still both babies. So, all right. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see other babies. And or you would like for me to talk about other topics. And there's that. Bye-bye now.